Hello, you all again. Thank you so much for uh, reconnecting with me on Gaj Ministries. My name is Gaj. If you didn't know that already or if you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for tuning in. Okay, so in this um, video, I'm going to be releasing another prophetic word. I've done five already today and I just had to keep going because God gave me these words yesterday and I couldn't hold on to them anymore. He has released me to release the words onto you. So this is the last one for today. If you haven't seen the previous one, definitely do try to check them out because maybe one or two may apply to you again not every prophetic word is for everybody look at your season and figure out the holy spirit will help you uh, figure out if that word is for you in that season of your life so without any further ado let's go into prayers and then from prayers we're going to read the word i have one scripture to read and then we'll go straight into the word that god has given unto me praise god Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you again for this privilege and the opportunity to give your word unto your people. I thank you, Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, for your blessed people that are watching right now, O oh God, waiting for this word, Heavenly Father. Speak through me, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name forevermore, Heavenly Father, because I know that you are about to do a new thing and give a new hope, O oh Lord, in this season, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Right, so I'm going to read Isaiah 43 verse 19. It's quite popular, but I'm going to read it. And that says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. That word is powerful and that word is amazing everybody loves new beginnings but there comes a time in our lives where we need to examine where we are we need to look at what we're doing we need to look at you know how we're living to see if it pleases god right then we know if we need to take a step towards doing a new thing towards getting to where you know god wants us to be in life right because ultimately god wants us to fulfill destiny and that, and that's why i've come with this word that god has given unto me to give to you today right praise god so god says new beginnings new hopes for new things new beginnings and new hope new beginnings and new hope oh my god thank you jesus new beginnings and new hope for new things things god is about to open some new things in your life Please. no no noise just just be quiet okay? okay sorry guys my daughter has come in to contribute towards the entire prophecy i'm giving right now so do you want to say hello <laughs> so god is about to do some new things in your life he says new beginnings new hopes for new things. There are some new things that he's bringing your way. And he's going to give you the hope. He's going to put that hope inside of your spirit. So that you can anticipate the arrival. And the delivery. And the manifestation of this thing in your life. According to his word. He says I will do a new thing. Shall you not know it? He's going to start making a way. In where there seemed there was not going to be any way. But in, a, but in the form of him doing something new. To create that way to manifest in your life. For that particular thing that you're believing God for. He says new beginnings. New hopes for new things. So believe and prepare yourself for one day you're going to wake up in the morning and inside of your spirit, something is going to be bubbling on the inside of you. Believing that something great is about to happen in your life. That is God placing a new hope for the new thing he wants to do in your life. That is what God is saying here in his word. That's what he has given to me to give to you today. So prepare for new beginnings. It could be a new job. It could be a new business. It could be a new, um, a new relationship starting up with, you know, somebody that, that he wants you to be with. It could be a new spouse, a new marriage, right? It could be something new, unexpected to you. But God is saying that he's going to do something new in your life. And he wants you to be ready and he wants you to be set to go. He will place in you a new hope 
Faith will be stirred up within you, in your spirit. You will be hopeful all of a sudden for something that you once gave up on. You're going to be hopeful again all of a sudden. And that thing, that new thing in that new beginning will manifest in your life all of a sudden. In Jesus name. Heavenly Father, thank you again, O oh God, for this word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, to oh God, for all those that this word was for. I pray that it has spoken to them in their spirit, Heavenly Father. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, that whatever wants to hinder this, this thing, O oh God, from manifesting this new beginning, Heavenly Father, that you've prepared for them, Heavenly Father, we uproot it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we pray your blessings, Heavenly Father, over everyone connected right now, Heavenly Father. Let this word of prophecy, O oh God, continue to manifest in your life heavenly father and i pray for the new hope the new beginning oh lord that you are doing oh god that thing that you are about to do in their lives heavenly father god let it be a blessing unto them and their generations in jesus mighty name i pray amen and amen hallelujah thank you jesus so i also want to invite you if you've not given your life to jesus christ today and if you and if you're not living for Christ, I want to just um, encourage you to give your life to Jesus. Or maybe at one point you gave your life to Christ, but you were not living for him. You can also rededicate your life to Christ by saying this prayer with me. Lord God, I thank you for your word. I give you praise and I give you honor for this hour, Lord. I know that you died for me and that you rose on the third day. I receive mercy and forgiveness for every sin, Lord, for every wrong, O oh Lord, for every offense, Heavenly Father, I receive your love and your mercy. And I declare that I am saved. I surrender to you in this day. And I believe that I'm born again in Jesus' name. We praise your name, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I give you all the praise and I give you all the glory for your people. I pray for your covering over them and I pray for your protection and your mercy over them in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Continue to be encouraged and always know that God loves you so much. And thank you to all my new subscribers and your lovely comments. I'm very, very grateful to you all. And I'm very, very grateful to God. Honestly, you guys are amazing. I love you all and I'll see you all very soon. God bless you. Bye. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Say bye-bye. <laughs>